Denim in general, it's a it's a fabric like you and I both love. It comes on Absolutely. shirts, jackets, pants. Like maybe you can get denim underwear. I don't know. It's, <laughs> but, I'm sure you can. It's right. <laughs> probably out there somewhere. Yeah. But I know you have an affinity for Iron Heart yes. denim specifically. Right. And I I only have tried Iron Heart denim one time. Mm-hmm. I had a pair of pants, and I tried. It wasn't the fabric I didn't like, it was just the cut. I went for a a true straight leg fit Hmm. to just kind of that more retro, kind of repro look. The straight leg, do you remember the style number? I don't. Because their original original fit, that was based upon the original Levi's 501, Okay, I believe. So it's very stovepipe type leg. Yeah, it had like an eight and a half inch leg opening. And I was thinking for engineers, I wanted like, yeah. Just give that look, you know, that like Jake almost vintage style pulls off really right, well. Right. And I just I just didn't like it on me. I like a little more of a taper. I landed on the 777 fit. Okay. And the reason is it's a slim straight leg. The bottom of the leg opening fits over an engineer boot. Cool. But it also, the top block of the jean is it's a little bit lower rise jean. Okay which I personally like. So I have four pairs of 777s. Um, I'm wearing the, um, these are like 16 ounce slubby 777 that I have on now. So it's nice interesting. Pair. It's Yeah, thanks. Similar, they look like this when these were not faded. So how did you come to the PBJ experience? Oh, man. Well, I mean, I'll backtrack. I'll give you a little little uh, history of my personal denim you know kind of journey my first real like good pair of denim um was a pair of telecin Mm -hmm. out of san francisco real close to us still you know super historic like they're still made in san francisco they're a really cool company and i thought you know that we've talked about them on this channel before that local store bleacher critic when they were in town i was like what is i was like educate me what's selvage denim i don't know this is cool Mm -hmm. You know, raw, like, what does that mean? What, uh, unsamphorized, like, what, all these terms, you know, I wasn't familiar with, and, right. and I tried them on, and I, like, you know, like, I, I, I saw the light. I was like, whoa, like, this, this is crazy, right? And yeah. uh, so those were, that fit was the uh, the Ladbrook Grove, which was a little lower rise, um, which at the time, for me, that was, like, a good transition. But I really love those, those pants, and I wore through them. Like, I wore those things, I was like, you know, I'm researching on the internet. I'm like, people wash their jeans in the bathtub. And like, yeah. you know, I don't know, this is like 2015. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, I gotta put them in the freezer. And like all this stuff, right? Like stuff I don't do anymore, right? right? And then I got a pair of Brave Stars, which I brought today, which I still wear. I've had those jeans for like five years maybe now. Mm-hmm. Um, those are great. Those are slim taper. Um, and I like those with like service boots. They won't fit over engineers, but they're still, they're not like, you know, not skinny jean. They're still right. like they're probably really, really close. Maybe a little smaller leg opening than than the seven 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 fit. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I kind of tried some other stuff. I tried some black brave stars, which I wasn't a fan of. They were too slim. I tried um, I tried some naked and famous that were a little more. They were super lightweight, like a like a twelve ounce. Mm-hmm. Um, I still have one pair of those, but I don't I don't wear them. And then I went. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I was really tossing up between Ironheart and PBJ, Pure Blue Japan. I've seen a lot of reviews on both, uh, Nick on Stridewise, and and uh, just everyone praises Ironheart. They're both kind of towards the top. I'd say Ironheart's definitely a more household name, if you will. Than- sure. PBJ, Pure Blue Japan, I feel like that brand is a little more obscure. Yeah. They don't totally. have, obviously they don't have the distribution that yeah. Ironheart does. No. More nerdy. It's a more like, when, yeah. you're, when you're in the niche of these hobbies, it's like, oh, I want to, you know, that's obscure. I want to try that. So these are, uh, this the denim, they, go, they call it the EX-019. So it's the extra, extra slubby denim. It's so nice, man. The hand, when they're new, it's so soft. Like, right. it's so soft. And these are 17 and a half ounce. 
So a little on the thicker side. I mean, these are super good for the winter, but they're still like, I think because of the nature of this extra slubby fabric, right. they're still really fine in, in yeah. warm weather. Because the fabric is is a little looser weave. Yeah, it's like, it's opened up. So, like it feels yeah. like it, it doesn't have stretch, but it feels like it would stretch like kind of accordion-like. Yeah. If it, uh, it kind of has like that characteristic. Yeah. And so it makes it great in the, in the warm weather. And I used to, those Brave Stars used to be my year round. They're 14 and a half ounce. Mm -hmm. An ounce as uh, the the weight of a square yard of denim. That's the ounce, right? So seventeen right. and a half ounces. Um, it uh, they're just great year round, and and I've loved how they're how they're fading in. You get this super stripy look. I wasn't sure like when I first started seeing that, like because it's pretty different than how like a, a tighter kind of. Uh, you know, a, a tighter weave denim right. ages. It's just a more of a soft fade out, and these have a sure. little, they have a little more character. So I love these pants, man. And they're these are yeah, these are like I said, uh, these are straight taper. So in my thigh and like the seat, they're a little bit bigger mm -hmm. than than the slim taper Brave Stars. Um, they have a higher higher front and higher back rise. Are they, do they pretty much fit true to size, would you say? These, um, like if, if it's a 32 inch tag, uh, you know, on the label, uh, are they actually, you know, 32 inches? They, yeah, these, inches? these are, they're maybe about a half inch smaller, like okay. a half inch smaller than the tag. They're, they're pretty close. They're maybe about a half inch, but they're not like, you're not, you don't have to do like crazy calculations, get like two inches and, and uh, smaller, you know, and right. um, self edge like they, their website is so good. They give you like every single like true measurement right. to the size you're ordering, right? And, right? and it's gonna be different for each type of denim because the denim- Right, you know, yeah, Ironheart does a really good job with that too. Yeah. Their charts are very clear and yeah. concise. And so, um, I mean, basically all you have to do is just take a pair of jeans that you already have Mm -hmm. and lay it down flat, measure it. With a fabric tape measure. Right. You can get by with a, <laughs> a you know, retractable tape measure, yeah. but if you're in this hobby, it. invest in a fabric yeah, tape measure. Yeah, and then measure. go to the chart, and you should be able to, that's how I did it, and you should ah. be able to nail your size. Yeah, so I want to talk a little bit about Ironheart, uh, which is my uh, favorite denim of choice. You know, it's an interesting company because I, it definitely has a much broader distribution network. The original Japanese guy, um, Haraki Sun, he started the company in 2002, I think. Okay. It's kind of an interesting story. Started out with making some heavyweight denim jeans and jackets for motorcycle riders in Japan. And then he teamed up with Giles in the UK uh, which now his son took over. His Giles retired, I think, last year. Cool. Giles steered the broader international distribution and marketing, which that allows them to then expand more into yeah. various different areas and obviously experiment. They've done a, exper a lot of experimentation over the years mm -hmm. as well. The scope of what Ironheart makes is, I mean, they, they don't just make jeans and jackets. They right. Make what, the flannel shirts, like they make a ton of stuff. It's yeah. not, yeah. It's an interesting brand. Uh, it's, I've tried on a lot of different other brand jeans and they never really quite fit me. And I, that's why I landed on the 777s. I tried a first pair on at Self Edge in San Francisco. Um, so I have a pair of these. These are 16 ounce slubbies. Uh, the first pair I bought were these 14 ounce uh, indigo. This is the, I think this is the lightest denim that Ironheart makes is the 14 ounce. They do, uh, I think an 18 ounce, a 21 ounce, and they even do a 25 ounce, mm -hmm. which is- It's like armor. <laughs> yeah, which is crazy. And I see people, the 25 ounce, they, the, the jeans, they, look, they stand up by themselves. Oh they yeah. They stand them up. Easily. You know, they, they have some really nice fades. I'm really happy- They, they do. With the fades on these. Um, and you can see, these, I've, I've worn these the most, and I'm considering buying a, maybe possibly a pair of 21 ounce, trying to go up to 21 ounce. And I also have a pair of uh, 14 ounce uh, black black. Again, just 777 fit, which is, like I said, it's a, it's a lower rise, slim straight. The bottom hem 
will fit over a pair of engineer boots. And they look good. They're, they're perfect. They're not too tapered, slim, cool. they're, and they're not like, you know, boot cut. They do make a boot cut jean, but, but this is, um, you know, I think the boot cuts are a little too much for my taste. Yeah, those are sweet. So the black, black, that means the, uh, the warp and the weft are black. So it's right. So they're they're not going to fade lighter. There's no light light undertones going to come through. Well, they well, say that that these will fade to gray eventually. Okay. So sure, as the dye itself goes away, but there's yeah. no alternate colored f cotton to exactly. poke through. Got yeah, it. Yeah, that, cool. that's a good point to make. Yeah. Too. Thank you for yeah. pointing that out. This is a 17 ounce duck cotton. They call it, um, and this is a nice color. Uh, you know, if you want to wear a blue denim jacket yeah pairs very well with a blue denim jacket yeah um, that's that I, I do that combo often <laughs> i've got a couple i got some lc king uh, pants and some uh rail car pants at similar color that i wear you know i do have thankfully like that matching i said the matching jacket to that pbj but i feel like yeah. it if they're too close, your fades of the colors, yeah. it doesn't look right. You got to, like, your pants need to be, like, super faded if your jacket, denim jacket's dark. Like, you got to combo them that way. Yeah. Otherwise, I just wear, like, brown pants with a blue denim jacket. I, I think there's possibly several iterations Com combos, of yeah. the, you know, the, the Texas tuxedo. Yeah, yeah. Um, or whatever they call that. Yeah. Um, uh, the Canadian tuxedo. Canadian tuxedo. The Canadian favorite, tuxedo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've seen guys pull off where they match exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then what you're saying, like a, a really faded pair of jeans with a dark, dark blue jacket. My favorite is a black denim jacket with blue jeans. Yeah, okay. That's, that's a really that's, cool That's look. your combo, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm on the hunt for a black... Ironheart trucker jacket, which I don't, I don't, own. I have a Levi's, but I don't own a Ironheart. Ironheart. Um, what I appreciate, about, appreciate Paul, about your uh, Ironheart collection is, I guess, just your philosophy that you've found a fit, the seven 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 fit, and mm -hmm. just stuck with that. Like we were just talking off camera about the hats, and once you find, like I like the Richardson one twelve hats, they fit my head. Like I like the way it looks, yeah. And so I know, like, oh, that's a Richardson one twelve in the store, like. I know I'm gonna like this hat. That's Do I like the patch or the color? Yeah. I, I don't have to think about buying it. You know, I just boom, oh, I get and, it, right? And, and we should talk about uh, trucker caps. Yeah, absolutely. Something. That that'll be an episode. There's, right. there's <laughs> quite a, quite a few between the two of us. Yeah, we got I a think. lot to talk about. <laughs> Jimmy and Paul talking about it all. That's it forever. <laughs> yeah. So um, we're gonna transition to now. Yeah. You you have a pair of. Uh, what do you the, have on there? These are the Brave Stars, um, and these are uh, these are Cone Mills uh, unfinished, fourteen and a half ounce denim. This is their slim taper fit. Interesting, Cone Mills, USA, yeah, manufactured the OG Cone Mills. Yeah, my first pair of Tellisons were Cone Mills denim. These are Cone Mills denim. I have right a, this shirt I'm wearing is from a local company, Wise Made. Um, I have a new pair of their kind of cowboy cut, kind of more like a Levi's 501 cut, mm -hmm. um, that are uh, the Dahlia Mills, which own the original Cone Mills shuttle looms. Mm -hmm. So kind of Cone Mills is, uh, you know, living on through uh, the Dahlia. So there's a lot of history there. It's pretty cool. I mean, sure. uh, Cone Mills was, was the last like Plus. operating uh, denim mill. Um, right, you crazy. Know, huge shuttle looms that take up yeah. You know, it's like a, like a warehouse, like they're huge, these machines, right? And there's lots of stories, we, you know, there's, there's people who have gotten, have covered this far better than you and I yeah, could. And but I, yeah, Carl Morawski does a video on Great video, that, yeah, man, how they, particular they'll, factory. They'll, 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 they'll move uh, the, in Japan, they'll, they'll buy and they'll disassemble these looms piece by piece and move right. them over to Japan. And they started doing that probably 30 years ago, 30, yeah. 35, maybe yeah. even like 40 years ago. Totally. Uh, I mean... People have to realize that in the USA, we had a huge, huge uh, garment manufacturing industry here. It's yeah. like huge, the, the largest in the world. Mm -hmm. And slowly through the decades, that's been dismantled. Yeah. Yeah. And it no longer exists. It is coming back in pockets yeah, in totally. New York and LA and other parts of the country. But yeah. for the most part, 
I don't know if it'll ever match its former glory. No, but that's why like this, like what we're doing is so important, like shedding light sure. on on these these brands, these companies, it's just like the quality of this. Yeah. Uh, you know, really, I'm I, I'm sure I could assume you and I are both anti fast fashion, right? Like, right. it's 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 the death of so many things and. There's Absolutely. so much, you know, that, that's its own topic. But right, right. but it, it really, like, I, I, I love this pair because of that heritage. Mm -hmm. Because I can say that these are actual cone mills. And old enough, right. those Telesins were old enough that cone mills were still operational. At the time, these were new old stock cone mills denim. Right. Um, which is cool. And to, yeah. to kind of partake in some of that history and that mm -hmm. lineage. And, and this is a pair that I will, I'll have these repaired. As much as I can sure. until they're threads, and then maybe it'll just be <laughs> some jorts. I don't know. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So, yeah. um, Brave Star, they're a good like entry level point. Like you right. can get them under two hundred bucks. You can right. get them, you know, two two fifty is normal price range, mm -hmm. and they're really good quality. Uh, American fabrics, American stitched, American made, American company. Like right. that. That's important to you. This is about the cheapest you can enter into the salvage denim market for a quality product. Right. Um, and wow. they've, they've held up. These are 14 and a half ounce. They're a great summer jean. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I love their denim jacket. Their denim jacket yeah. is really nice. Just a, a traditional American Americana uh, denim trucker. Yep. Yep. Um, and they got one kind of like that, uh, that Sashiko behind us too. Um, right, the that, capital. Yeah, they got one kind of similar to that in style too. And uh, I wear these a lot. As you can see, I got uh, you know tattoo ink splattered on this knee, and there's some black on this leg. And uh, these are my my work pants. I don't I don't worry too much about them. The, right. the knees are getting close to being blown out. I guess just like as an encouragement to the viewer, if if you're if you're a Levi's person, if, you know if you haven't experienced a higher quality pair of pants, uh, denim jeans that have uh, you know, been broken in and faded. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, it's really nothing like it. It's, it was something I didn't, I didn't understand until, until I understood, it, until I experienced it myself. And right. I think it's just, uh, yeah, it took me a long time as well, um, uh, just to move in that direction because I was always a, a Levi's guy, always wore Levi's. Um, and I, I think I have one of the last pairs. Of Levi's actually made in the USA. It's, yeah, it is a, that's cool. A raw denim jean, uh, but pretty much, I don't think Levi's manufactures anything in the US anymore. I'm not sure. Maybe like some very select, like high art kind of type stuff. Right. Yeah, they might do some of that still. Yeah, um, and and uh, you, it's pretty hard pressed to find a Levi's. Gene that is 100% cotton too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. nowadays with the the the, the poly blends, the stretch fabrics, every right. everyone wants that, right? And then right. that's, yeah, man. I'm not to get on a high horse, but I mean, you know, these are pants I've had for five, six years, mm -hmm. and I I think back to when I was wearing Levi's, I was going to whatever, you know, Mervin's, Coles, like every year for a new pair of pants because they just get totally blown out right. so it's it's an environmental stance as much as it is a, a fashion stance and uh, yeah that's it's, true man it's it, it's it's hard to beat dude. <laughs> right you know? great combo today talking about uh, our favorite our favorite yeah denims. thanks for coming down yeah, Jimmy. Dude, appreciate I, it always a pleasure taking time here. out of your busy schedule man i know <laughs> <laughs> uh so what uh what are we going to talk about next time well i thought we would talk about Motorcycles. Oh man, this these uh, your bikes have been teasing my babies. They've been teasing us in the in the background here for weeks. Yes, so. my babies. Okay, uh, that's yeah. pretty cool, man. Yeah. I, I think, thought uh, we'd talk about Triumph. Okay, Triumph British, is a British brand. Cool. Yeah, Triumph. I love it, man. I got some the the yeah Triumph in general has a it's got a place in my heart. Um, I'll, I'll, a lot of history I'll talk there. About that. Uh, provenance, yada yada yada. Yeah. Um, so cool. I'm again, excited. Yeah. Yeah. So am I. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So guys, thanks for joining us here in the man cave club. Jimmy and Paul talking about it all. Yeah. See you next time. See you next time. It's the man cave club.